they're off. The race away, then Kamiko gets out very smartly indeed and is the first one to lead this Qatar Sussex Stakes. Going with him, though, Circus Maximus in the white cap, a dark jacket of Vatican City and Wichita in purple is wide on the course. Mohatha in blue and white is up there as well and then San Donato, a yellow jacket and the pink cap of uh, Siskin and Colin Keane is just at the rear of a very well bunched field off a couple of furlongs. There's only five lengths between them. Ryan Moore and Circus Maximus just goes on to lead. Dark blue jacket for William Buick on Vatican City in second. Asheem Murphy against the running rail. Kamiko in third. Purple jacket for Frankie on Wichita showing in fourth as they get to halfway. Blue and white for Jim Crowley. Mahatha. Yellow jacket Andre Zeni around the outside of a pink cap for Colin Keane on Siskin as they move them towards the home straight. Circus Maximus bowls along by over length and a half. Vatican City with a white face in second driven along to try and keep up with one of his stable mates. Kamiko is next. The purple jacket behind this is Wichita. San Donato, yellow jacket towards the outside making progress. Siskin is held up still at the rear of the field. They've got to the two marker. San Donato runs a massive race at a big price here. Siskin is trailing him through on the outside. Circus Maximus. Kamiko is looking for room as well. Still there is Wichita as they head down to the closing stages. Circus Maximus is very brave. Siskin and Mohatha in the blue and white coming down the outside to challenge. Mohatha in the blue and white comes late on to grab victory in the Qatar Sussex. Circus Maximus in second, then Siskin, Kamiko, Wichita behind the San Donato, last home Vatican City. They're off. They race away then for the Qatar Sussex Stakes. They leave the starting gates. Lord Glitters and Gustav Klimt and Orban have dropped in behind. Early on, uh, beat the back with the noseband. The pink cap of Expert Iron on the right out wide is without parole. And these are forced to be the leading trio as they head through the first quarter mile. In behind them, dark blue of So Beloved races ahead of Gustav Klimt. The last couple of runners, Orban is the back marker and the grey Lord Glitters is behind him, but it is a slow pace in the early strides of the Qatar Sussex Stakes and Andrea Zeni has ended up in front on the favoured unbeaten without parole. A pink cap of Expert Iron second place. The blue jacket have beat the bank behind those. There's a length and a half to Lightning Spear holding fourth position as they move past halfway. So beloved against the running rail, a similar jacket. Gustav Klimt is up on the outside of him. They begin to quicken. Lord Glitters is one but last. Orban is the back marker. Into the straight they come with out parole against the running rail with the noseband of beat the bank on the extreme right is expert iron the pink cap in behind those is Gustav Klimt Orban making progress from the back of the field lightning spear is next heading down towards the last quarter mile now without parole beat the bank and expert eye lightning spear right in behind him so beloved is coming there here's Gustav Klimt it's wide open as they approach the furlong pole now expert eye to Gustav Klimt beat the bank is there lightning spear coming through between those Expert Eye is just in front. Lightning Spear throwing out the challenge in the closing stages. Lightning Spear and Asheen Murphy get through and have won. Expert Eye in second. Third is very tight. Lord Glitters on the outside of Gustav Klimt and beat the bank just in behind those. The BGC Sussex Stakes Group 1 over a mile and away they go. The pacemaker Windsor Palace on the wide outside in the purple jacket with the white uh, sleeves and uh, heads on into the lead, tracked by stable companion Henry the Navigator, the dark blue jacket, Major Caddo's out wide, fairly steady in the first furlong, Ravens pass in behind them, up the inside Jimmy Fortune, with held up towards the rear Tariq, and in the red jacket Winker Watson to the outside, Windsor Palace from Major Caddo, who's keen in second place, third is Henry the Navigator, Ravens pass is shadowing Henry in fourth place, then Tariq round on the inside and Winker Watson is last of the six. They now begin to sweep downhill right-handed. Windsor Palace now injecting further speed into the contest from Major Caddo. Henry the Navigator in a very good position in third under Johnny Murta to reek the far side. Ravens pass still just a length and a half behind Henry the Navigator as they now swing up the straight and homeward bound and Winker Watson is the back marker. Windsor Palace comes under pressure. Major Caddo going well. Tracked by Henry the Navigator. Tariq in a good position up the far side and should get up the pacemakers inside as Major Caddo breezes ahead. Henry the Navigator is quick to follow and so too is Ravens pass and look to the right. Winker Watson inside the two. Races on 
on here. Henry the Navigator from Raven's Pass, Winker Watson. Henry the Navigator shifted across to the rail, interfered with Major Caddo. Henry the Navigator from Raven's Pass. The two old rivals meet again. Henry the Navigator by half a length. Raven's Pass is putting in a storming run. Henry the Navigator all out from Raven's Pass. King Henry wins again. Henry the Navigator lands his fourth Group 1 in the Sussex Stakes from Raven's Pass. The 11-4 on favourite, Johnny Murta, Aidan O'Brien at Group 1 level once more. And they're off and racing. And Darwin bounces out of the stalls. Toronado's rider is right on the premises early on. In third place, races the grey outstrip and Kingman is under restraint at the back of the field. So out in front, Darwin just setting a steady pace. Toronado positioned on the outside. Kingman tracks his main rival, Pink Cap. And on the inside is outstrip. So a very steady first uh, furlong or so set by Darwin and Joseph O'Brien. Toronado on the outside. And Kingman, who came off a similarly steady pace at Ascot, held up on the outside of Outstrip as they prepare now to make the turn into the straight via the bottom bend. And out in front, Darwin, Toronado in second place. In third, Outstrip, and Kingman held up at the rear of the field. So Darwin and Toronado. Toronado's rider deciding when to press the leader with a bit more vengeance. Not yet, it would appear. Third for Outstrip and Kingman still held on to at the back of the pack. Darwin had the run of the race out in front during the first half of it. Toronado in second place, poised on the girths of the leader, then Outstrip. Kingman is tracking Toronado's every move here as they make their way with two and a half furlongs to go. Darwin, Toronado still travelling powerfully. Kingman is still his shadow. Now the moment, Toronado lower in the saddle, goes past Darwin. Kingman is on the leader's girths, still just trying to keep his powder dry. Toronado quickened up well. Kingman a bit all disorganised when first asked to quicken, then Darwin, Toronado. Kingman taking a long time to get balanced. Now begins to serve. Kingman carrying a Toronado and Kingman will run him down. He took longer to get organised, but he's won the Sussex Stakes from Toronado. Darwin's right there in third and outstrip in fourth place. And they're away. Break well. They don't break particularly fast and Thurius is going to go on. Thurius taking him along now from Rudimentary has gone second. Sykes and over on the far side. Marling's in quite close touch in fourth place. And Thurius has now settled down to a really strong gallop. Thurius going on by about four from Rudimentary. He was about five up on Marling. Gap then to Sykeston. Behind Sixton on the inside is second set. The back marker is the French challenger. Star of Cosine and a long way behind the remainder. And Thurius passes the five furlong pole. Clear of Rudimentary in second. Marling third. Then comes second set, four, five, six, and six is Selkirk, seven, Sheikh Albadu waiting in behind him. Eight is Star of Gazine, they spring into the straight. They've got three and a half furlongs to run. Thurius is still making it the three-year-old from rudimentary. Marling is poised in third place, then comes Selkirk, then Sixton on the outside, Sheikh Albadu, and second set comes next, and finally Star of Cosine. And it's still Thurius, the leader from rudimentary. Marling coming there very strongly. Sheikh Albadu being shaken up. Selkirk's coming there strongly towards the right of the picture now. Rudimentary, Marling and Selkirk. Selkirk's come to take it up from Marling. Second set's putting in the challenge now. But it's Selkirk, the leader, as they race into the closing stages. It's Selkirk with Marling fighting back. Marling is fighting back and going to win it. Marling is going to win it at the line. Marling and Selkirk in a photo. Marling and Selkirk in a photo with second set third. It's a desperately close photo. And they're off and racing. And from the stalls, Frankel bounds out enthusiastically. And as predicted, no one wants to accommodate him in giving him a lead. And Frankel and Canford Cliffs, the big two, are cutting out the early running. But Frankel, despite leading, is racing in hand and pretty settled early on. Canford Cliffs quickly drops onto his rival's tail. Anxious not to give away any track position as they climb steadily uphill. Ratch the man in third and Rio de la Plata restrained. So Frankel now just striding on slightly leads by about a two to three lengths from Canford Cliffs as they climb uphill. In third is Rio de la Plata and Ratch the man is at the rear of the field. So Frankel 
Slender tight restraint, but very much Tom Queeley in command of things at the moment with Canford Cliffs just allowing the leader no more than two length start. Tom takes a quick look and he'll see that Canford Cliffs is right on his tail. Rio de la Plata in third and Raj Saman in fourth. So Frankel at the halfway stage in the Kipco Sussex Stakes on the descent, still leading by a length and a half. Tom Queeley still sitting quietly. Canford Cliffs stalking his rival, then Rio de la Plata and Raj Saman and Frankel is still traveling comfortably and has yet to be asked on the front end. Canford Cliffs shadowing his rival, trying to decide when, if he can exert any pressure and Frankel still travels strongly. Canford Cliffs, the orange colors and now Frankel for the first time is shaken up. Canford Cliffs in second place over a furlong out. Frankel's acceleration is instant. Can Canford Cliffs, who's drifting left, reel it his rival? No. No, a decisive no. Frankel, unbeaten, utilizes that turn of foot to devastating effect and wins the Kipco Sussex Stakes. What a brilliant horse. Frankel saw off Canford Cliffs in the twinkling of an eye. Rio de la Plata and Ratsaman, third and fourth. What a race, what a horse.